I do deal with a mental illness. I've been diagnosed with treatment-resistant depression. I believe that I've had it my whole life. For the longest time, I thought, hey, well, it, it, it certainly isn't a mental illness. There just must be something wrong with me physically. And if it was a mental illness, then I had somehow done something to deserve this. At first they thought it was, well, I just had school phobia. I had panic attacks and anxiety. It was just part of the symptoms. So then I was diagnosed with uh, depression. None of the medications were working. The therapy was not working. Before the suicidal thoughts got to the point where I attempted. Thank goodness I heard that. that there was a small voice that just said, what are, you, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Suicidal ideations, the suicidal thoughts uh, does come about because of the depression. It is torture and, and, and it is a constant struggle. Um, how, how, do I, how do I deal with it? It really comes down to my support group, to be honest with you. I used to tease my wife that uh, either my, my parents were paying her a stipends to stay with me or she's actually a saint. And she said, there's no money. So obviously she's a saint. It really is a social contract between her and I. Uh, I, I give her the permission to ask me at any time, hey Eric, are you having suicidal ideations? And then the flip side is, she promised me that it's okay for me to reach out to her. I do have the same agreements with my children. I do have the same agreement with my, uh, my staff. No one person does everything on their own, no one. Reach out to somebody that you trust. Give them permission to ask you at any time, are you having suicidal thoughts? And then be that friend and respond back truthfully. If we do say yes, don't freak out on us. This is natural, it happens, it's preventable. Help us get the help that we need. Make that call. Because if the stigma was gone, people would feel freer to reach out for help. If the stigma was gone, we would understand and know the warning signs. And until we start talking about it normally, I, I think that we're, we're gonna have those, those of us out there that are gonna go, no, somehow this is my fault. Somehow this is my doing. We have to look at mental illness as it is and that's a brain disorder. We have to look at the brain as an organ. We have to start talking about physical health, everything that's encompassing in that, and that includes mental illness. Those of us who want to talk, those of us who have that enthusiasm, I'm begging you. We've got to come together as one strong voice so that we can save people, not just in, in the United States, but worldwide. We have to do something.